Good morning and welcome to Wood AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Tyler Euchner. Now the, now the White House is vowing to rescue an Afghan interpreter who saved President ba Biden back in 2008. The man and his fi family are currently hiding from the Taliban. He asked the president not to forget him as the final troops left the country on Monday. He was working for the Army when two Black Hawk helicopters made an emergency landing in a snowstorm. He helped rescue Biden, then a senator, and two other lawmakers. A North Carolina, Carolina con Congress, congressman says he isn't supporting violence after warning tr rigged elections will cause bloodshed. Madison Cawthorn made the comment during a GOP event over the weekend, calling the arrested Capitol rioters political prisoners. He even said they were they were planning to to planning to make a return to DC but later took it back. This comes a month after he called school mask mandates psychological child abuse. The man accused of putting pipe bombs outside of an Ankeny home last June tells investigators he intended to damage a vehicle parked there. Chad Williams is charged with making a destructive device, possessing a destructive device and possessing a firearm. Williams says he put a pipe bo he put by pipe bombs near his former girlfriend's home because the man dating her sister was lying about his military service. When a search warrant was executed at Williams' home, police found bomb-making materials and methamphetamine. He told authorities he had done a background check on the man he said he was targeting and found he was an ex-convict pretending to have a military experience. His defense attorney has asked that he be placed in the VA's residential program for mental health and substance abuse treatment. Now, the number of COVID-19 cases have increased in Nebraska. For the past two weeks, the, the total has nearly doubled as the Delta variant continues to spread. When we come back, I will, ha I will have a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Jake Paul is already coming out of retirement. He tweeted the news one day after the YouTuber announced he was retiring from boxing. The YouTuber turned bo boxer fo fought his way to a split decision victory over former MMA star Tyson Woodley in an eight-round boxing, boxing bout in Cleveland on Sunday. After the fight, Woodley demanded a rematch while Paul replied the, replied the former the former must get an I love Jake Paul tattoo first. A, uni an, an, a, eh, a unique item of Michael Jordan's clothing is hitting the auction block. Uh, Leland's is, an auctioning, uh, is auctioning off a pair of basketball legends underwear with a starting bid of 500 bucks. The listing notes, notes the pair shows defined signs of use. However, there's, there's a dry cleaning tag on the inside of the band showing they have been cleaned. The auction ends on September 25th. Taking a look at today's weather, today, today will be mostly sunny with a high of 82, while tonight will, will be mostly cloudy with a low of 65. And then finally tomorrow there will be a chance of thunderstorms with a gust up to 25 miles per hour 
and a high of 79. Today, a Buena Vista representative will be in the library from 1030 to 12. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.